Why does the game of baseball, why does my game, why do the people running my game want to just screw with it? Last year we had the ridiculous just take your base rule. No intentional walk, just hold up four fingers and the guy goes to first base. Eliminating any drama, eliminating any let's reach out and hit the ball. We've seen that, folks. That there are countless videos of that happening, not only in, in Little League baseball, in Babe Ruth baseball, travel ball, high school ball, college ball, but we see it also, we've seen it in Major League Baseball. It's an element of surprise, element of drama. But Robbie Manford, man, damn, this guy just wants to have his paws all over this freaking game. He is concerned that the average Major League contest in 2017 lasted three hours and five minutes. It was a total of three minutes, uh, three hours, seven minutes for Orioles games. And three hours, 29 minutes in the postseason. So the commissioner is expected to press for changes at this week's owners meeting. The most talked about rule that we have out here is the addition of a 20 second pitch clock. I'm sorry, we got clocks now? We're going to have clocks in Major League Baseball, really? We're going to have clocks in the game of freaking baseball? Are we kidding me or what here? What are we doing to this game? Why are we simplifying it and dumbing it down for people? You know what? If they don't like it, don't watch it. And these aren't true baseball fans. The game's got to speed up more. You know how the game speeds up more? Too many freaking commercials. And if the game's a 7 p.m. start, guess what? Start the game at 7.02, not 7.08. Yeah, go, you know, the, the television comes on and the announcers come on, they talk about the game. Then we go to a commercial break. No, come on at 7 o'clock, have the announcers talk and go right to the game. But we can't do that. Because the commercials. He will... And, and this is according to Ken Rosenthal. Manfred will indeed institute this season, the 22nd pitch clock, no matter what the players say. So screw what the players think. I'm just going to do this because I'm the commissioner. What is this, the freaking NFL? What is he, ruling with an iron fist? Is this dictator Manfred? Manfred and the Players Union, so far, they have made little progress to date on any new rules that have been agreed upon. And the commissioner has the right to unilaterally implement his earlier proposals, like the 20-second pitch clock and a time limit between batters. Penalties for that would be implemented this year, but ball strike penalties would, be, would not be implemented until 2019. These would be much bigger changes than last year's freaking stupid, moronic, no-pitch intentional walk rule. Every year we just have a stupid rule coming out. And this is another one of his ideas are so freaking off-the-wall stupid. The Associated Press obtained a, gen a January 9th proposal from MLB that mentions... Shortening extra inning contests by starting an inning with a runner already on second base. What the hell are we doing? This isn't the game of baseball. This is Sunday morning softball. Start an inning with a runner on second base? Just give him third base, why don't you? You know what? The inning where the team is starting guy, just give them a run. Just give them a free run. Just take a run out of nowhere. Just give them the freaking run. How asinine is this? He plans to put this notion in effect during spring training and this year's All-Star Game. The Grapefruit and the Crack this League games would have the runner at second starting in the 10th inning and all future innings. All-Star game, it would begin in the 11th inning. Now, listen, there's no harm instituting this rule for exhibition games like these. The purpose being not so much to declare a winner, 
and, you know, safety and let's not drag this out. Okay, I get that. It's more to evaluate and enjoy talent. I get that. But just letting you know, all you baseball fanatics out there, <laughs> this is a test to institute on a wider scale in future Major League Baseball games that actually count to put a guy on second base in an extra inning. Are you crazy? Are you kidding me? It would take away that feeling when a game is tied after nine innings. Oh, well, let's put a guy at second base. We have a much better chance now. I like the possibility that a game could go on and on and on and on. I mean, that could still happen, but we would rarely see it. And well, what a dramatic change this would be. The basic baseball rules. And since it would only affect games that go extra innings, it, it hardly seems worth the effort to even put this into motion. One thing that you love about baseball is that it separates itself from other sports with the absence of a clock. That's what makes baseball different, is the absence of a clock. And while this rule doesn't actually add one, its intent is to end the game as soon as possible. And as a baseball fanatic, that leaves a bad taste in my mouth. Not like this Hershey's bar that I'm eating today, but it leaves a bad taste in my mouth. It's fine to think of ways to speed up the game a little bit, but that's different than thinking of ways to end the game. You're thinking of ways to end the game right there. We're going to try and end this game. We're putting a guy in second base in the 10th inning. Now, to his credit, he's trying to tackle some other causes of the delays, the ones that slow down the action, the, the flow of the baseball game, Specifically limiting the visits to the mound. I'm not a fan of that, but I could see where he's coming from with that. And the MLB proposal would allow each team no more than six visits for the first nine innings. And one per, and one more per each extra inning. Excuse me. Exceptions would, mi would be made if a catcher were crossed up on a pitch. I, I mean, that, that, that sounds like a good idea. You gotta expect some flack here due to the increasing problem of sign stealing that we have out there. And how that forces the teams to change their signals more frequently. How many times over the last couple of years have we heard this, oh well this one's stealing signs? You do that, that that affects it majorly. Majorly. Ken Roosevelt also reports that teams are using video technology in their replay rooms during games to steal signs. One manager unanimously Anonymously, sorry, I can't even speak. I'm, I'm sorry, folks. But just the idea of changing this game sooner rather than later, we're just going to have umpires go away and just have a robot do the game. We're just going to have a robot call, call balls and strikes. That's all we're going to have. One manager told him off the record that there is always a camera angle showing the catcher. The manager also credited Astros manager A.J. Hinch for all those mound visits in the World Series to change their signs. It's great managing, but it, it, it really took away from the excitement of the game. This is my bottom line here. And again, I can't, I, I can't say it enough. What separates baseball from all these other sports is that it doesn't have a clock. It's not paid. It's not on a timer. I mean, all, all these games, all, all these... Sports are on a timer, and with the exception of hockey and somewhat, somewhat basketball, football games take forever. I mean, I, I, I don't want to hear that the NFL always oh, is so fast-paced. Please. I'm sitting there, I'm sitting there like this. I fall asleep during NFL games. I mean, 15 minutes and 15 minutes for a half... Yet we're going over three hours, almost three and a half hours for games. What are we doing here? 
I think the replay has screwed things up. It takes time away. That's something that, you know, we, we want to talk about slowing down the game. The replay slowed down the game dramatically. But just this, putting a guy at second, that bothers the hell out of me. Rob Manfred, 